There's always sky Rest your head I'll take you high We won't fade into darkness Won't let you fade into darkness Why worry now? You'll be safe Hold my hand Just in case Right guys, so today we're doing something different, something that I've never done before. We're trying to find some abandoned aeroplanes. Now I've been given a pin for this location, but we've never been here and I've not been told how to get into this place, so it could be a complete fail. But hopefully it's not. Fingers crossed we can get in and we can explore my first abandoned aeroplane. But look, we're in a, just a random field, trying to find access to this plane. I don't know, what do you reckon? Do you reckon we're getting? Are you feeling po you feeling positive? I'm feeling the positive vibes today, man. I am, I am. All right, so guys, we've actually made it to the abandoned plains now. Now there's two here. I don't know if there's another one further on down. Yes, there is, there's three. So there's three abandoned aeroplanes. Don't know if we can get in, but I'm gonna try my goddamn hardest to get in. Oh wow, guys, check this out. This is incredible. So this is just underneath the aeroplane. I was hoping there was a way into the actual plane through this way. But look at all the mechanics and stuff. This is honestly, this is just giving me a headache just looking at all this stuff. Guys, that is our way in. Look at it. That is pretty cool, that's where all the air hostess would be and stuff. Right, so guys, we have made it onto our first plane. Now, it was a struggle to get into this plane, I've got to admit. I mean, you guys know how high the doors are to get onto aeroplanes. You usually have to walk up the steps to get onto it. We didn't have any of them steps. We literally had to make our own way up, but we're on. Now, a lot of the stuff has been taken up in this plane. It's like a shell, but there's still some pretty cool stuff to see here. Like, we're at the back of the plane now. And I'm pretty sure this is where the stewards and stewardesses would make their announcements on this on this phone here, if I'll show you. Turn around. We've got this phone here and it says call system, so you can call the captain, attendant, and we can reset it. You've got the lights off, on, or you can dim them. But yeah, as you can see, we've got the seats here where the air stewards and stewardesses would sit when taken off. Now in front of us, this is the main light where all the passengers would sit. And as you can see, all the chairs have been taken up. We've got the toilet this side to the left, and we've got a toilet again on the right. So we've got our uh, overhead luggage as well. Are they all locked? Oh, loud. loud. So yeah, we've got overhead luggage. This was a budget airline, so I don't think we've got much hold baggage. This is like a Ryanair light. Yeah. The two pilot seats they've taken out. Yeah. And they're just down there. Okay, that's cool. Is that the pilot seats there? Yeah, pilot seats. Oh, Alright, okay. Yeah, as you can see, they've taken the two pilot seats out, the pilot and the co pilot seats. Got one air and one there. And the cockpit still looks pretty damn cool. But like I said, there's like three or four aeroplanes here just left abandoned. So yeah, this is the cockpit, guys. Look how cool this is. I mean, all the electronics have been completely ripped out of this plane. But you've still got like levers and stuff still in there, like flaps, um, parking brake. And the steering wheel. Do you call it a steering wheel? What do you call it on a plane? But yeah, the controls to actually control this aeroplane. And this is the view that the pilot would have. Looking out across this uh, airport. 
so at the part of the airplane now, we're at the front just before we get into the cockpit. And as you can see, this is where they would make all like the, the food, heat the food up for all the um, passengers. You've got the uh, water filter, water shut off valve, and like the kettle as well to get all your hot water. Down here, what is this? It's like, okay, this is just like a storage. It's like a storage for like the cups and tea bags and. <laughs> So that's during ta taxi takeoff, weather and landing. We still got a drink menu in the aeroplane. So the company would have been Jet2.com, friendly low fare. So this would have been a budget airline. And all like your duty free drinks and stuff. And at the back we've got Save Big on board. All beauty watch beauty watches and fragrances. Then here we've got a third toilet, so there's three toilets on this plane. And again, got the seats for the air stewards and stewardesses to uh, sit down before takeoff. But yeah, as you can see, there's another plane just on the other side of this one. Now, I'm not sure what this airline would have been, but there's a giant. Peter Rabbit on the back end of it. I mean, when you take all the uh, chairs out of the airplane, you can see just how big the inside of these planes actually are. Which is pretty damn cool. Right, as you can see guys, there's some more aeroplanes outside. I think there's another three. There's one here, but you can't actually get into it, unfortunately. You can't actually get into this plane, unfortunately. As you can see, the engine has been completely taken out of this one. There's one right at the back. As you can see, it's been completely gutted. Yeah, but as you can see, we've got one, two, three, and the fourth one at the back. So that's four abandoned aeroplanes on this site, which is pretty cool. Right, we're not gonna stay here any longer because uh, yeah, I think we're kind of uh, risking it a bit now. But yeah, we've got some other sites lined up, so we're gonna check out some other places. So I'm gonna make this into one video, I think. So uh, yeah, this is the start. This is a pretty good start, I think. An abandoned aeroplane, first time I've ever done one. So uh, yeah, guys, I will see you at the next location. Now, unfortunately, guys, the next location is back at my flat. So we did try two other locations after the planes, but unfortunately, they were a complete fail. And I know there wasn't a lot to show you with these planes, but for me, it was the first time I've ever explored an abandoned plane. So it was quite exciting, and I wanted to film it, and I wanted to show you guys. But yeah, because this is such a short video, I thought this was the ideal opportunity to kind of have a one-on-one -on -one with you guys and just say how amazing it is for me to be uploading videos regularly for you guys again. And I don't think a lot of you realise that about two or three months ago, I was in two minds whether to stop uploading videos to YouTube and I was in quite a low place. But I've got myself out of that now and I'm back to uploading regularly and it feels absolutely amazing. And you guys are stuck by me. You stuck by me through the low times, you stuck, and now you're sticking by me through the high times again. And yeah, I can only thank you guys. You are, you guys are amazing. I know a lot of people say that about their followers, but I generally do feel that about you guys. I read all the comments that you leave me, and they are, the majority of them are so positive, and it makes me want to go out and make more videos for you guys. And yeah, guys, if you didn't realize, there's only two weeks until I head back to Chernobyl and I cannot wait. I mean, you guys absolutely smashed the first series that I put up onto YouTube. The first episode I think has had over 1.3 million views now. So the company in Chernobyl contacted me again and asked if I wanted to go out for a second time and film some stuff in Chernobyl that a lot of people have rarely seen. And I was like, yeah, I cannot say no to that opportunity. So in two weeks, guys, we are heading back to Chernobyl and this time I am taking a friend of mine, 
A friend that I've been friends with since like infant school. We we are like best mates. We are best mates and I'm taking him out to Chernobyl. Ever since he was a young lad, he has always been fascinated with Chernobyl. So I said to him, if I ever get the opportunity to go again, I'm gonna bring you with me. You will be meeting one of my best mates on this Chernobyl trip, so it's pretty cool. But I am gonna end this explore here, guys. Sorry it wasn't a long explore. It was a short one, but I really did enjoy seeing those planes. But until next time, carry on exploring, you beautiful people. Peace.